Overview maps in QGIS is another important property when we are creating topographical maps. So we typically have our topographical map because they are typically of a very large scale, so 1 to 10,000, 1 to 50,000. We can be difficult to see where are we in the larger context. And therefore it's important to be able to add an overview map. The process is much like we covered in another video where we talked about doing pebble maps, the small repeatable maps, is that we'll start out by locking our first map frame. So in QGIS, in the print layout, we ensure that this map frame here is locked. So it, so it won't reflect any changes. So we lock the layers and we lock the symbology of the layers. Doesn't really matter in this case with a, a um, topographical map or a scan map has a background. Then we go into the QGIS application itself. And personally, I find it best if you uh, add a group and add a new group uh, because then you can turn multiple layers on and off at once. So in this case, I've only got one in, it doesn't really matter, but you can see that I can turn all of the layers in a group on and off easily, um, which makes if you're changing different, having different map frames on the same layout, you want to turn these different layers on and off, and that makes it a wee bit easier. And now I'll just load a uh, data set with uh, my administrative units. So I just look you my municipalities uh, let's take uh, let's take that one there um, so I have now got my layers I can turn that one off and I can zoom to this layer here but we don't, don't want to zoom quite out because it's uh, I want to show where in the northern Copenhagen this area is uh, so I probably want to do a zoom, something uh, a bit more out than that. So we have this characteristic shape of the Northern Zealand. So my map frame has now had changed in the context of I go into my map composer and create a new map. Here. So I'll just make a new map frame, uh, place it here. Uh, yeah, I want to um, move it a bit up and scale it into, let's see, that's a bit much, one more, something like that. That's better. So um, I have my non sealant area and I want to indicate where is this area on my overview map here. First of all, um, I think this is probably a bit too dark, this color here. So I'll just lighten that color up. Um, give it a land mass and um, go back and refresh and I might also one time here say I want to have a blue background so indicating the C so I could go in my background here and give it a nice bluey probably too dark really uh, so we should say uh, choose a color and we will then decrease the saturation somewhat like that. So we have our base map and we now want to add our indication, extent indication of this over there. It's called a overview. You get, so I click this overviews and I add an overview and it asks me which, which map frame is this going to be? It's going to be map frame zero. That's that one over here. And it will then create this little red blob here. 
Um, but you can have it, that's the default, it creates a red area. You can also change that to being a uh, no fill, sorry, uh, a no fill with a brush of a solid red. That's up to you how you um, oh, got it there, a bit thin. Um, border width, thicken it up a bit, like that. So, there are different possibilities of how you can recreate the frame, but the idea is that you have your main map, and you have your detail, your high, high scale scale map then you have a low scale map small scale map where you um, make sure that there's not too much detail on it that can recognize and recognizable area and in that you make sure that you go into these air views and you press the green button choose which map frame there was you want to have you can have more than one map frame so you can have them different colors different map frames if you have to want to have more than one in your overview map can be done um, and that's it so that's basically the process of creating an overview map you have your first primary map you go in and ensure it's locked so if we go back here and choose this one up here this one is locked so we don't have to do any changes they won't reflect Personally, I find it best if you go in and when you're doing this, having groups because then you can turn multiple layers on and off. So I have all these for my detail map in one group and I have my overview maps in another group. Of course, I could give them names and overview map and detail map. And then in saying, so my second data frame and I go into overviews to go back to my data frame there so okay so this data frame and I've used these overviews that I've added an overview that referenced to grid to map frame zero so that was the process of creating overviews in QGIS